one. Hi, my name is Brian Bettendorf, Director of the Rehabilitation Segment for Fitness Anywhere. Dr. Rajan Prakash recently wrote a response to a question raised by TRX community member Bart regarding the effectiveness and safety of TRX suspension training for somebody with osteoporosis. Now in that article, Dr. Prakash listed a number of exercises that are both safe and effective for people with osteoporosis. And what I want to do is just cover three of those exercises for you today. And in each of those exercises, I'm going to show you three different variations. This kind of baseline level, moderate intensity uh, progression for the exercise. I'm going to show you a steeper vector angle where we start to increase the load. And then we're going to take a shallower vector angle and or increase the speed of the movement. So increasing load or increasing speed are effective ways to help with bone density. So Anne's going to start off with the TRX chest press. She's going to start off first with this kind of baseline level moderate intensity where you take your normal kind of 8 to 12 repetitions or 30 seconds of an exercise here. She can choose a steeper angle then as soon as she decides she wants to start increasing the load and really start pushing the lower repetitions. This increase in strength will really help increase that bone density. She can also start walking forward a little bit, choose a, a less steep angle, and then increase the speed of the movement. So Anne, really start taking that as quickly as you can. Fantastic. Now, that's a great exercise for the upper body here. Another one for the upper body is going to be the TRX mid-row. So Anne's going to shorten up the suspension trainer straps. And we're going to start her off at that moderate angle again. So find an angle that allows you to complete, you know, age 12 repetitions or 30 seconds of the exercise at a nice moderate tempo. The next progression for Anne could be to either take a nice steep angle on that, which is going to choose lower repetitions to start increasing the strength a bit more. Or the other option is to come up into a shallower angle and start increasing the speed of movement. That's fantastic. So we've covered the upper body with the TRX chest press and the TRX mid row. For the lower body, you can't beat the squat. Nice thing with the TRX squat, we can start out with the assist in the hands there. You're not getting any external loading, so there's really low risk for somebody with osteoporosis. The way to progress this, which can complement some of the walking and running somebody might do, would be to take this into a TRX jump squat. That's great, yeah. The other progression, if we just want to increase load, is to take this into a single leg squat. So after centering one foot to that anchor point, and can take this into a single leg squat, really increase that strength of the hip and the thigh. And that's great. Fantastic. So we've showed you the TRX chest press, the TRX mid row, and the TRX squat with three different variations in each of those. So try those out and I'm sure you can find a safe progression for those people who are looking to increase their bone density.